I love her, and I hope that she's at peace, finally. More than a year after losing her sister to rectal cancer, the pain is still raw for Donna Flash. She still questions whether her sister's life could have been saved had she not sought a natural cure. She was pretty much into natural regimens most of her life, natural foods and um, herbs, so she thought possibly with that and her faith in the Lord that she could be healed. Leslie Flash had traditional treatment when she was first diagnosed with cancer, but she told her sister the side effects of chemotherapy and radiation were more than she could handle, so she turned to herbal supplements. We didn't know what to do, and our father said that, you know, if you, whatever time that Leslie had left, it was best just to not argue with her, not disagree with anything that she was doing because she refused to let you talk to her about her health. Flash is not alone. It's estimated that 60 percent of cancer patients try supplements or other unproven remedies, although there's little or no evidence that they are safe or effective. In fact, health experts warn patients can miss their only chance of beating the disease. If she had not wasted time taking what we call alternative medicine, she probably could have been cured. Despite the risks, some patients are attracted to the promise of hope in a bottle. The risk of taking a pill without knowing what's in it is it, it could have side effects, just like any medication that you might take. Uh, anything that has a therapeutic effect also has the potential to have a side effect. It also has the potential of interacting with another therapy. When Leslie Flash finally faced the truth that the supplements weren't working, it was too late. The disease, which was potentially curable earlier on, had consumed much of her lower body. We really do miss her, especially around the holidays. Leslie Flash was 53 when she died. Myra Lopez, The Associated Press.